Hi, I'm Joanne Froggart and I've been here at Audible recording Audible's Thriller of the Year, Silent Child by Sarah A. Denzel. That's the great tragedy of life. One moment, everything is perfect. And the next, it's all in tatters because of what's happening around you. And what are you supposed to think when your child is taken from you? That it was fate? God? Bad luck? How are you supposed to move on? So you've been here this week narrating Audible's Thriller of the Year, Silent Child. Can you tell me a bit about the book? Yes, so Silent Child is the story of Emma, who is our protagonist, and she is um, a woman who had a baby at the age of 18, and her little boy, um, Aidan, was... Um, killed in a flood or so she believes he was drowned when he was six years old so i think what's what's unusual about this we were talking about this as you were recording this week is that the what in another crime book might be the the twist at the end happens actually really early on and i don't think it's a spoiler to say to say what happens yeah so she finds out emma finds out that um her son didn't drown that her, her son basically is alive so then it becomes a a mystery and a, and a thriller about finding out what's happened to him during this 10 years and who's responsible. So what, what's it been like for you recording it? Because it is a really intense book, as you said, like the, the pace goes up and it kind of stays really high throughout. Yeah. How's it been for you? Um, you know, I have really enjoyed it, actually. Um, you, you, it's a, a very easy book, as I said, to get in the zone. So it is, a, it is a sort of dark place to be, um, but I've found myself, um, as I've been recording, just totally imagining where she is and what she's doing and, you know, her surroundings, and I'm totally seeing it all as I'm recording it. So that's obviously a really good sign, and I, you know, I hope that comes across in the, in the listening as well. In terms of the acting, how is it compared just using your voice, just having your voice to play with, versus being on stage or being on TV? It's incredibly freeing, actually, because it's just you and the microphone and it's a very intimate way to tell a story and I really enjoy that because there's, you know, it's not sort of stopping and starting, waiting to change camera angles and getting into it and then going, oh, OK, now we've got to wait for half an hour and then we've got to do it again. And, you know, it's just like you can just get in the zone and you can just go for it. And it's, yeah, it's an incredibly freeing, lovely, imaginative sort of experience. And is this the kind of book that you would choose to read, crime thrillers? Yes, definitely. Um, I, I, two of my sort of recent favourite books have been, um, well, recent couple of years ago, have been um, Apple Tree Yard and um, Girl on the Train. And I do think this is very much in that genre, very much. Um, this would be a book I would definitely pick up and probably, you know, get through the whole thing on a flight or something. Um, Yes, yeah, so it's, it's right up my street in terms of what I like to read. There's definitely a trend in your work, right, to play uh, strong female characters, but also pretty traumatic, women in yeah. pretty traumatic circumstances. Anna Bates, yeah. this character in Sepsis, and now in Silent Child. It must take a drain on you personally, physically. It does sometimes, um, but again, it's I uh, like the challenge. And I mean, with Anna from Downton, she actually set off. I actually really wanted that role because she was exactly not that. Because um, the first few series, she's just a lovely, kind, strong woman. And the first couple of series is very much a love story, you know, for her. So that's um, why I was attracted to her. And then, lo and behold... <laughs> Terrible things yeah, happen to her, um, yeah. so I, it seems to happen to me whether I, whether I like it or not. But um, it's obviously nice to have a break from that, and it's nice to do those jobs in between that aren't that. But there is something about the challenge of reaching those emotional, you know, sort of highs and lows that um, keeps you on your toes, and um, and they're important stories. And so, last last point of discussion now, um, there's a really exciting TV series coming up, Liar. You're kind of sticking in the psychological thriller genre with it, right? Yeah, and this is my first um, psychological thriller on screen. Um, and this is my first psychological, psychological thriller audiobook. So I'm definitely in that space at the moment. But that's actually what attracted me to doing Liar, because I hadn't done a thriller before. And I love to watch thrillers. Um, you know, I love them. So... Um, yeah, I was really keen to do it. And um, 
I'm really excited about it. I'm really excited to see how people react to it because it's a very twisty, turny story and it throws up a lot of questions about all sorts of things, um, which it did for me when I read it, and that's what struck a chord with me. So, Joanne Frogger, the new uh, queen of psychological thrillers. Well, let's hope so, yeah. <laughs> so, so nice to meet you, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>